Okay, so here we have our puppy that we're going to be using for the post, um, which you can see her ears are healed up for the most part. She's got a little bit of scabbing left over, which is okay to have. But uh, for the most part, you want to make sure that the edge of her ear or his ear is completely healed. You also want to make sure that their ears are cleaned out. She just had a bath, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, but, uh, normally what I'll do is I'll take a, uh, cotton ball with a, um, 70% uh, rubbing alcohol. I'll pour about half the bottle out and dilute it down with water. And then I will, um, use ha the half and half and rub it through, um, their ear, uh, inside and out. Just so that way you can make sure it's 100% clean. Okay, so... What I, what I went ahead and grabbed the tampon that we're going to be using, the, which you can see is still completely sticky. You're going to take the puppy's ear, which she has a shorter crop, so this is going to be easier to get to stand anyways. But you're going to take the cushion part of the tampon, um, and you're going to push it down in the bottom part of the ear. And I normally twist it to make sure it's in there really good. I'll grab the tip of her ear and I'll twist this down in there. Push it in real good, and uh, as you can see, it's in there really good and deep. I'll take her ear then, make it kind of stick to the to the tampon. Then you're gonna take your shorter piece of tape that I had discussed with you about in the video. You're gonna take it about right here. You're gonna want to start on this side. Because you see this this flap of skin, see how it's naturally trained to go back like that? You're going to want to keep that flap. So you're going to take the puppies, the tape, with the tip of her ear. She's not like this part. But, um, good girl, it's okay. You're going to tape it backwards to hold the ear in place. So that way the hardest part is over. As you can see, you've got that done. Then you're going to take, okay, then it doesn't matter what length tape you get for the center part. Like I said, though, you're going to want to start from up here and tape with this flap staying down. That is very important to get her, their ears to stand. Um, I've actually had vets tell customers in my past that you don't want that flap. That is not true. That flap is the most important part of getting your puppy's ears to stand. So you're going to then again take this, put it on the sticky part, which it's, it's so much easier to get it to do this. You're going to tape this down. And then you've got two pieces down. You're going to do the exact same thing with this bottom part, which I'm going to go ahead and do really quickly. I normally start a little closer to the end. And keeping the flap down and taping it in. Pull that together. And then I take my hand and I kind of tighten the tape on there. You don't want it to be too tight. As you can see there's still pieces of tape coming up. That just goes to show that it's not super tight but you can so the ears can still breathe, but it's tight enough to where the tape's not going to fall off. Then I just go over it to make sure the tape is on there really good. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then tape the other ear for you. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got both ears taped. They're going to look like this. Um, I normally, like I said, uh, go over them. Uh, 